Ball at the nine on second and eight. They run it here with Oliver. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him three on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Going quickly out to the right side. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line on fourth down. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Diggs going in motion right. Second and three. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. First down, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They'll set up to throw, escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 35. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Diggs in motion right. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness... It's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Vic now. And that's complete to Sanders. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, 
that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. It'll be Vic once more. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. Now here's Vic. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. And he's got this to Jefferson. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And, of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. Vic to the right side and complete to Thomas. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. From the gun, Vic. Short throw that's caught by Davis. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? And they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. It's a second down run with Sanders. Able to push his way through. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 36. It's a play fake. Now Vic. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromartie There he goes, right side down the right sideline and they will score it's a pick six for the cardinals touchdown so what a turn of events there you're driving to take the lead in this third quarter but then one mistake and you're watching the ball being returned for a touchdown certainly a great example of how focus has to be there on every play doesn't it partner you can't get complacent and i think that he did He's got him moving downfield, but... And now it's blocked. The Lions pick it up. Taking it right down Broadway. And he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. Boy, at this point, <laughs> I don't know what's going on down there. You got guys running one way on the pick six, now running the other way to return the block to extra point. It's almost like that guy went this way, but the other guy went that way. And guess what? Both of them.